Jake here for Extreme Terrain, and in this video, we're taking a look at the ColorSmart RGB Halo LED headlights and fog lights with black housings and clear lenses fit in 2018 and newer JL Wranglers. Now there are tons of headlight options out there for the JL, but if you want your rig to be set apart from the rest, then you're gonna like this kit that we have here. This kit features a pair of LED headlights and fog lights, each with adjustable RGB halo rings. Now these are set up to give your Jeep better lighting output and a unique look, and they do it for one of the best prices in the segment. Now swapping out headlights is a rather simple way to make your JL a bit more unique. And this kit is interesting for a couple of reasons. But first, let's talk about probably the biggest ticket item here, the RGB halo rings on both the headlights and the fog lights. Now these function as sort of a typical daytime running light, but they're more fun and colorful. These offer you tons of customizability with different colors and patterns, and it's controlled through either the included remote or a handy phone app. These will do a chasing effect, they'll even sync to music, and they do all kinds of other fun patterns. You've got a total of 22 different modes to choose from, and you can have them match your paint or accent colors, or just change it up on a whim. You can also adjust their brightness, and you've got a ton of different things that you can do. So it's a fun addition to a practical upgrade. Now these halo rings also function as typical daytime running lights, and they're gonna light up white by default. They're also gonna change to amber when your turn signals are activated. But these go beyond just looking cool in that they also provide you with more illumination versus your stock headlights. And these feature LED projectors for both the main and high beams, and they're gonna light up the street or trail much better than your factory lights. They have a cool 6,500K temperature light, and they put out 3,200 lumens and 4,300 lumens for the low and high beams respectively. So especially as compared to factory halogen lights, these are gonna be significantly brighter. And of course your fog lights are LEDs too to match, and they put out 3,600 lumens of light on their own. So needless to say, this is a very bright setup overall, and they just flat out look cool too. The black housings and the round LEDs add a more sinister appearance to the front end too. Now these are DOT and SAE approved too, meaning that you've got adjustments built in here. However, it is worth noting that technically, the RGB LEDs are not street legal, so use them with caution. The outer housings of the headlights are made from die cast aluminum. You can see they've got integrated heat sinks in the back. The lenses over top are your standard polycarbonate, so these are gonna be pretty durable for the long haul with the LEDs inside as well. And the same is true for the fog lights. You've got die cast aluminum heat sinks and polycarbonate lenses over top. Now the kit does come with everything you need to get these installed and working as well. And though you might need to do a bit of wiring in order to get them fired up and working properly, we'll talk more about that in a few minutes though. It is also worth noting that both the fog lights and the headlights here are IP68 waterproof rated. So if you're hitting some water out on the trail or you just happen upon some more extreme weather, these are gonna be able to handle it. Pricing comes in around $500 for this kit. And for a full set of headlights and fog lights, especially with those RGB inserts, that is a really solid price. It's not too much money, but enough that you can be sure you're getting a quality item. Plus again, it comes with everything you need and they have a really unique and cool look and feature set to them as well. Installation is going to get a two out of three on our difficulty meter and it should take you around two hours to complete. Now again, there is some wiring that you will need to do, but for the most part, these are plug and play. You've got the modules, the harnesses and everything you need here ready to go. So it makes it pretty easy for you out of the box. Plus things are labeled all nice for you as well. You've got right fog light right there. That's just gonna plug right on in. You've even got the remote here for the LEDs. Now that said, there is some wiring still that you will need to do, but we're gonna take you out to the shop right now and walk you through that process step by step. For this install, you need a three inch ratchet, a three inch one quarter adapter, a three inch extension, a one quarter extension, a 10, an eight, and a seven millimeter socket, a T20, torque socket, a wire stripper tool, and wire crimpers. All right, today we're gonna to be installing some headlights and fog lights on our Jeep Wrangler. But first we're gonna watch a video how to uninstall our stock headlights, and we'll come back here to uninstall the stock fog lights. All right, so the first step in our install is to remove the pop clips that are holding on our grill. So let's grab a pop clip removal tool and get these out.
All right, so the rest of the grill is attached along the bottom and sides with pop clips. Firmly grab the grill and pull back towards you. And you should be able to remove it. All right, with our headlights exposed now, we can grab a 10 millimeter socket, if you can find one, and go ahead and zip the three bolts that are holding on your headlight. Pull your headlight off. Locate the connector at the back. Press down on the connector and remove it. All right, to move our fog lights, first thing we need to do is we need to remove our lower splash shield. There's some cl plastic clips in the front and two six millimeter bolts underneath that we need to take out. All right, we have our two bolts here and here and our six plastic clips that run along the front. We're gonna take our bolts out first. And grab it. All right, and grab your clip removal tool and take out the clips. All right, we're gonna come to the front of our wheel liner and take out our two eight millimeter bolts to access the wiring to our turn signal and marker light. All right, now we can come to the inside of the bumper and take off our panel to access our fog light. There are seven, six, seven millimeter bolts going all the way around. All right, now we have access to our fog light. What we're gonna do is um, disconnect our connector and take out our three T20 screws on the sides. Take out the connector, push down the tab, pull out, and grab a ratchet with a T20 bit and take those screws out. All right, now we get to repeat the same process for the other side. All right, now we get to repeat that same process for the other side. All right, before we get to installing our hardware, what we need to do is get our wiring ready. We have two extension harnesses and, wire, and our fog light harness that we need to attach connectors to. Now you can attach your wiring however you like. What we're gonna use on ours is a T-tap and a spade connector. What it's gonna do is gonna clamp over the factory wire and then the, T, the spade connector will go in the end of the T-tap. So we're gonna grab our one extension wire and we're gonna strip our wire back. All right, we're just gonna take our wire strippers and just strip this back a little bit more. Take our connector and take our wire crimpers and clamp that down. Right. We're gonna do the same thing for our two wires on our fog light, except we don't need to strip them back anymore. All 
All right, now we get to do the same thing for the other extension wire and the other fog light. All right, now here we have our wiring for our RGB controller. We have our wires labeled for our left side of the vehicle, wires labeled for our right side of the vehicle, and then we have our main hub wiring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our main hub wiring and our left side wiring right behind the rad support, and we're gonna connect our main hub wiring right behind the driver's side headlight. All right, so I'm just gonna take these wires now, just run them behind the fog, the uh, wheel liner, just get them out of the way. All right, and then here we have our wiring for our main hub. We have our ground, our power, and then our turn signal wires. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hook up our ground. This ground stud right here, it's a 10 millimeter nut. Just loosen it a little bit, and then we'll tighten it over the stud. All right, now we can run our wiring for our turn signals and our power wire. All right, now we're gonna run our wire for our right side turn signal. The yellow wire on the harness is gonna be our right side. So we're gonna take our extension harness, plug that in, and then run that along the front to the right side. All right, now you can run your wire however you want. You just wanna make sure that you zip tie it up out of the way so it doesn't touch anything hot. We're just running ours for demonstration purposes up over the front and under our grill and just laying our box behind the headlight. But I would recommend securing everything down. All right, while we're here, we can just plug in our extension wire and our power wire for our right side. So we're gonna take our extension wire, that's gonna go into our green wire. We're gonna take that and we can just run the rest of that right under our fender liner. All right, and then for our power wire, what I did was just make a simple jumper wire. It just two, it has two spade connectors on our ends because there's two female connectors. So we're gonna plug that into our red for power, run it through the fender liner, and then that is only on this side and that will run to the power for the marker light. All right, now that we're here in the wheel well, we have our power for our marker light that's gonna go to our power for our controller. And then we have our extension for our turn signal. That's gonna go into our power for our left side turn signal. Just check your wiring diagram, just make sure you're plugging into the right wire. All right, and just tuck the wires out of the way and then you can repeat on the other side for just the extension wire for the turn signal. All right, now that we got our headlight, we're ready to install. What we need to do is attach our supplied adapter harness. Got a three prong plug, Adap plug that in. And then this will plug into our factory harness. And then we have our wire pulled up that's labeled for our left headlight for our RGB. It's only gonna plug in one way. There's a little notch and then a screw locking tab. All right, secure the wiring behind. All right, we're going to locate our headlight in place and then it will be installed with our factory 10 millimeter bolts. All right, let's grab our ratchet and tighten them down. All right, we can go install our fog light now. You can see we have our T-taps on our harness. So we're gonna plug our red into power, black in the ground. All right, and now we can mount our fog light. All right, we can now mount our fog light with our three 
T20 screws that we took our stock one out with. All right, now we can plug our RGB light in for our fog light. You can see it's labeled left and fog light. Same thing as a headlight. It just slides in, and then a screw locking tab. And then we can take our extra wire and just tuck it up behind the bumper. All right, now we can reinstall our plastic cover that covers our fog light. And then we can reinstall our seven millimeter bolts that we took out around. All right, now we're just gonna put our real liner back in place and install our two eight millimeter bolts that we took out earlier. All right, now we get to repeat that same process for the other side. All right, now we can go underneath and reinstall our plastic splash shield on the front. So we're gonna slide it up into place. And then we can reinstall our plastic push pins in the front and our two seven millimeter bolts in the back. All right, we're gonna reinstall our grill. We're gonna slide it in place, lock our locking tabs into the front, and then put our plastic push pins back in. All right, now we're gonna walk you through some features of the headlights. We're gonna start with the app. You can change in different colors. You can also do different modes. You can change it so we we'll go to a strobe or jumping. Change the brightness and the speed. And then you can also do the same thing with the remote. You can change the color, mode, turn it off, turn it on. All right, and that wraps up our install of our ColorSmart RGB Halo LED headlights with fog lights for a black housing with clear lenses for our 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL. And remember, for everything Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.